Hello, today I would like to show you how to upgrade firmware on the Cobalt VR200 robotic vacuum cleaner. For that process we need a USB drive and a USB OTG cable. This is regular cable that you can find on a Android device. I lost my genuine cable, so we have to use this and the flash drive. The most important part that a lot of people have a problem, if you've got a large drive in capacity, it's going to have a XFAT file system. So we have to make sure that we are formatting in a FAT32 or NTFS. So let's go to the computer. I'm going to plug the USB stick. I'm going into my computer. This is my drive. And the formatting will remove everything from the drive. So you have to make sure that you make a copy. And in the file system, you would like to select a FAT32. And we are going to start the process. After finishing format, we are closing the menu, we are opening our drive, and it's totally empty. We are finding our file. This is the file that I just downloaded from the website, and I'm going to link a copy in the description, but make sure that you download the newest one. Mine at that point in time is 2. 0.1.7. We are going to extract it using a WinRAR. We are going to open our extracted file and we've got a new folder called Robot Data. We are going to copy that folder directly into root directory of our drive. So the idea is that after you are opening your drive, this is your in your root directory, the robot data. This is what you would like to see. I'm going to safely eject the drive to make sure all files are being written and we can proceed. So here is our drive. Now I'm going to connect our USB stick into OTG cable. I'm going to open the lid. Here is the micro USB cable cover. I'm going to pry it open. And here is a standard micro USB port. Here you can see it. And I'm just going to plug my OTG cable just like that and now we have to start our robot and we have to select from the menu to start the firmware update so let me power it on we power our vacuum cleaner we go into the menu we are going into the settings page, we hit OK. We are going to locate a software update, we hit OK. And it should load our new firmware. We've got our software update detected, we confirm it, we confirm, and it loading our new firmware from the drive and it's restarting our device and that's all we just updated firmware on our machine i can wait for the boot cycle as you can see we've got our firmware update finish we can select the language 
and the device is ready to be operated, it's ready to be paired with your smartphone. So as you can see, a very simple process, you are ready to pair your vacuum cleaner with a smartphone. You can use a regular OTG cable, I can unplug it, I can put the I can put the cover and lock everything back and it's finished. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you find it interesting. See you next time and bye bye.